Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Derek, and today we have another awesome opening with Legendary Heartbeat. It's one of the Japanese sets. Uh, this set and Astonishing Bull Tackle is basically what's going to make up Vivid Voltage for the American side. Now, with this set, they introduced the Amazing Rares. Now, I've already opened one back a while ago. Uh, this was probably a few weeks ago. And we've got two of the Amazing Rares so far. We have a Rayquaza and Zamazenta. I think that's how you pronounce it. But uh, I, I figured, hey, what the hell? We might as well just open up another one. And uh, just to have another bit of content this week, uh, kind of bonus. And I figured, you know, why not do that today? Why don't we just go ahead and go through it and see how everything is? So with that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so here we go. Let's check this out. It's all wrapped. It's not been tampered with. I know there is cases of Pokemon fakes going around a lot. And it scares me quite a bit because I don't want to run into that. You don't really see that often with the Japanese sets compared to uh, other sets like American or anything like that. Uh, I've not personally had any problems, which mainly on this channel, I usually just open up the Japanese sets. And yeah, here we go. Here we go. You get 20 packs with this. So we have all kinds of cool stuff. And then each one of the packs comes with a, I think it's a holo, holo rare or better. So it's one of those sets. And instead of the uh, usual five cards, I believe on this set you get seven. So you get seven cards instead of five. So I, I had really good time with uh, Legendary Heartbeat when it first came out. And um, I got some great pulls. I'm not going to toot my own horn here, but I, I got some pretty good pulls. <laughs> And I always run into this problem with Japanese packs. I I always have problems opening them. I don't know why. Like the American packs are pretty easy to open, but the Japanese packs, I usually have a hard time with them. Looks like we already have something good starting out. Oh shoot! We'll save that for last. Okay, we'll save that for last. And it's a duplicate of something I already have, but here you go. Pretty nice. Pretty nice, I might say. All right, let's go on to the next pack here. Pretty excited. Um, uh, Shining Star V comes out this month, and uh, I'm going to have a couple cases of those. Well, not cases, a couple boxes to open, and I'm going to be opening them on the channel for you guys. And hopefully, we do pretty good. There's that really awesome Charizard that's coming out. There we go. Here's our Hollow Rare. Something I've already seen a thousand times. And we'll, we'll, uh, I'll, I'll go a little bit slower than I usually do on a set. Just so you can have, and Fortnite's like taking up my, uh, <laughs> it's taking up the space there. Thanks, Fortnite. <laughs> I didn't notice it. When I was uh, <laughs> recording there. I need to come up with a better system of recording, though. Um, what I'm doing right now is okay. But eventually, I needed to make some changes. Oh, nice! Nice. There we go. Check that out. I don't have this card, actually. I have one of the other gold cards. But this is the one ultra rare I did not have from this set. So... I'm already, I'm already happy with it. All right, we got we got a V card already, and we got that gold card, and yeah, just keep on pushing it out. And <laughs> nice. All right, so here we go. This is what I was ta talking about. This is the amazing rare. Um, these just came out, and if you're familiar with Vivid Voltage, which is the new American set. You might have seen these already, but these are was already out like a few months back. And I don't know. I think in the new set, the American set, you're almost guaranteed two per booster box. But yeah, this is what these look like. I did not have this amazing, amazing rare, so um, I have the other one. Uh, 
but not that one. All right, maybe we can pull more than one. I, I think in the Japanese set, you're guaranteed at least one. I don't think you can get more than one, which that's okay. So far, this unboxing has treated us well. Got a Genesec for our Ultra Rare. What have you guys been opening up lately? Anything new? Any new cards that you guys are excited for? Have you guys taken a look at the Shining Star V? Uh, definitely would like to know in the comments. All right, let's keep going. The lighting's a little bit better, if you guys noticed. I, I, I changed things up a little bit. That way, you guys can see the cards. And, yeah, I, I, I really want to make this work for you guys. And I want to do better. And hopefully, eventually, later down the road, we can have a better solution for this. Right now, it's just basically what we uh, doing what we can with what we got. There we go. I, I'm mainly going to going through the uh, straight to the good stuff, but I'm going to slow down a little bit after the last few packs. Uh, it's all right to go pretty much go through them. Um, because, you know, we'll see a lot of commons and non-commons like a dozen times. Is that Dialga? Yeah, Dialga. Dialga. There we go. And if if I pronounce some of the Pokemon's names wrong, just let me know in the comments. Like, you're uh, kind of dumb at naming Pokemon. Garrett, you big dumb dumb. All right, here we go. I already see something in the back. There we go. Not just one. Not just one. Now, this is really cool about this set. I don't think it happens in the American set, but we got the VMAX and the V. So you could run into this on Legendary Heartbeat. Uh, it's pretty cool when it happens. And um, yeah, it. whenever I first seen that uh, a long time ago when I opened them up, uh, I was kind of blown away by it because I'd never seen that um, and I'm relatively new again when it comes to opening Pokemon cards and collecting. And I thought it was really cool. There's our Hollow Rare. There we go. I just want to make sure the lighting's good on that. Um, if you guys uh, haven't already, um, I'd like to earn your follow or subscribe. I don't want to beg for it. But if you want to, feel free to hit that follow button. Uh, share this, and let's make this community grow. There's all kinds of awesome Pokemon um, collectors and uh, videos out there. And there we go. We got Steelix. That is nice. I do not have this version. I have the other Steelix, but not this one. I like that. I, I think that's the full art one. Uh, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's right. You're probably, you probably you can tell that I'm kind of a noob when it comes to some of this. But I started collecting again, again back in May, and originally I haven't touched Pokemon cards since uh, I want to say back in middle school. Middle school was whenever I was originally collecting the cards, and I I picked it back up. This was before the Logan Paul things, but I was watching Max Mofo there for a while, and he's and we already have something special here. We got another V Max. Now I have these cards, but I will take them. There we go. That is nice. That is what I like to see. This set just gives and gives and gives. If you're wanting a good set, especially value wise. Uh, you can't go wrong with this. It's about a little over fifty dollars. Uh, you can buy it from Amazon and other retailers. I wouldn't spend any more than fifty-five, sixty dollars on the set. But if you're looking at value, this set gives you really good value. Um, as you can tell, we had some really good stuff already, and I'm pretty, pretty hyped at it. Pretty hyped. There we go. It's our hollow rare. Now, there are some I do not have. Like, I would like to get an, a rainbow rare at least. 
I and I think you can do that. I don't know if the amazing rare takes place takes the place of that. Uh, I hope not. I hope we can get a rainbow rare, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. As I get heard. And I wanna get get done the uh, awesome duty of putting these up in my uh, binders. I think my, my binders is getting pretty well filled up. All right, we got Amphros. Amphros V. Again, I, I'm seeing a lot of the things that <clears throat> I've already seen before, and that's okay. I We got a few cards that I don't have from this set. And I'm not looking to collect all the cards in this set. Like any set, I'm not really necessarily looking to complete the sets. Uh, I mainly just collect uh, the ultra rares and the hollow rares and stuff like that. I don't really care about getting them all. I know a lot of people want to do that. And I'm not dissing them for that. I think it's a red giraffe. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, guys. Like I said, the way I have it set up is kind of janky, so <laughs> kind of bear with me. I, I, I'm I trying my best to make with make do with what I have in terms of... Oh my god, Lugia. Now, Lugia is also... They have a promo in the Vivid Voltage Build and Battle sets. This is the last pack, by the way. Um, we'll be getting anything good. Uh, you got Charizard, Donphan, and who else was there? I know Charizard is one. And we didn't really end with a bang. We got pretty good, though. I, I, I call this a successful opening. So let me go ahead and switch back over. Hey, guys. So that pretty much finishes us up in terms of Legendary Heartbeat. And uh, you can turn the box into a hat if you like. It's very fashionable. Uh, I would recommend it. 10 out of 10 would recommend the Legendary Heartbeat box as a hat. So if you have one, you know, there you go. But anyways, we got we done good with what we had. We got some really good cards. Uh, I am definitely not uh, upset with the pulls. Um, it's about what I expected. I didn't expect to get another one of the gold cards, but I did expect to get another Amazing Rare. Um... But, as everything else goes, uh, thank you so much for stopping by. I definitely want to earn your subscription or follow button. Uh, I would love that. Feel free to hit that. <laughs> I'm just repeating myself. Just feel free to smash that. I definitely appreciate it. Would love to make this uh, work out. So, uh, tonight we'll be doing some streaming. I'm uh, going to finish up Daymare 1998. And then we're going to move to Cry of Fear. So, if you haven't checked out my Twitch. It's twitch.com forward slash bits and pieces PT. So check that out and we'll have some more uh, content hopefully soon, sooner than later. Uh, basically <laughs> what we can afford at this point. So other than that, guys, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you soon.